Hello there, Master Hellish here, and welcome to a Transport Fever 2 Monday. Oh. Love that music. I'm gonna turn it up a little. Yeah, there we go. Ah, right then, folks. Um, just like straight off the top of the show and all that. I'm not very well. Um, I was quite poorly over the weekend. I'm doing better now. Um, but it's going to be quite a chill uh, live stream. And you may notice my voice is different. Or it might sound different. It certainly sounds different to me. Um, originally yesterday we was going to do a Minecraft live watch party. Um, on Discord. And... Um, I wasn't able to make it, unfortunately. But evening, everybody. Hello, Francis, Infernal Badger, uh, Blue Reflex, and everybody else. Uh, I need, I need something, Tom. Hello to the moderators. I see Wizard Brandon and DJ again. I've got some water. That plague is going around recently. Yeah, with, with the amount of illness uh, that was in this house over the last week, I feel like I should have just gone to the front door and painted a big black X on it. As usual, folks, if you are uh, w not watching live or you would like to pop off and get yourself a nice cup of tea or something, uh, this here is your timer. That's when we're going to get into the game and actually start playing. Um... <laughs> DJX says, in the end, the Minecraft watch party was just me and Brandon. Yes, well, I, you know, I'm sorry I couldn't make it. And to be honest, I was a little bit disappointed with the with the Minecraft Live overall as a, as a show, as an event. Now, I'm not talking about the updates or what they're changing or, or anything like that. As a show, it just felt all very wooden. It was a lot of pre-recorded stuff. Like, I, I'm not sure any of that show was live. I mean, they could have recorded... There's only three outcomes of the mob vote. They could easily have recorded each of the three. And then and then the whole show... I don't think any of it would have been live. Um, I'd be interested to know. I might actually just message Mo Yang. I mean, I'll, I won't get a reply. But I'll message him and I'll be like, Was any of Minecraft live? actually live or was it all pre-recorded because in the past they've done interactive things like you could send questions in on twitter and stuff like that i didn't see any of that anyway we're getting slightly sidetracked um you know new things to go and discover in the world good uh crafting thingy good more blocks uh, and decorative blocks good overall a nice little update I tell you something though, something that I didn't mention with the uh, the viewer plus subscribers the other day. Uh, the weird thing is, I wonder if these trials was a leftover idea from Caves and Cliffs when they were thinking of what they could put down there, and eventually they came in and did uh, the deep dark, the deep dark biome and with the with the warden and all that. Maybe this is was one of their ideas of something they could put down there. So it's like. Caves and Cliffs Part 7. Um, they probably didn't do it because it would all be stop the vote. Maybe. I think it is a very vocal minority, the stop the vote people. I was going to do a little video, but I, I haven't had the energy to do it. So, um, basically, I haven't seen one coherent argument from anybody about why they should stop the vote um, at all. The thing is, is that um, if you've got three options and you can vote for any of them, then there's a possibility uh, that you can annoy up to 62, no wait, 65% of the voters by not choosing their item. And just because of a lot of the age that I would, uh, ages of people that would play Minecraft, probably just a lot of salty people that didn't get their way. Yeah. So we'll see, we'll see. Um, but overall, it was it was the the actual show, the Minecraft live show, felt very, very wooden, 
and very unimaginative in some ways. Um, it was, yeah, very script, very script. Uh, but the updates seem cool. Um, in other news, um, apart from me being not well, uh, what what we've got going on? Uh, I don't know actually. Um, let's see. Oh, uh, I got together with Rocket at the at my in my lunch break, and we tried CS two. Uh, in we intend to play more CS two. So, if you are somebody who likes to dabble in the shooting genre. Uh, feel free to come over on the Discord. We have a channel and a role for that where we do shout-outs of when we're going to be playing it. Um, there are obviously... I mean, it's, it's a it's a new game, but there's obviously some things for them to improve, but overall, for me, it felt pretty damn good. Um, you know, it felt pretty familiar with some nice upgrades and that's I you know I'm hoping we'll do more of that later. Uh so we we've, we've got a bit of a casual team that we play we we pay we play competitive casually. So if that sounds good feel free to come on the Discord get yourself involved with the role and all that sort of stuff. Um I can't believe this is only live stream 4 for Transport Fever. So yes, uh, that's something to shout out. Um, also, this week there won't be any uh, uh, open TTD live stream. I'm unavailable to do the stream, so we will be back to the streams next week. Uh, we will have a um, Factorio video at the weekend. Hey Jack, I'm a little under the weather actually, Jack. I'm not. I'm not. Not actually very well at the moment. Uh, obviously, well enough because we're streaming. Uh, we've got the Transport Fever 2 music uh, in the background. I shouldn't shake my head around too much because I'll get dizzy. Um, I feel like I'm missing something. So, no Open TTD this week. Factorio as usual. More streams next week. Come onto the Discord if you might be interested in playing CS2 with us. I think that's I think that's all the announcements for this week. Let's jump into the game, eh? Let's jump into the game. Uh, okay, so here we are. This is um, this is a bit weird because I thought I could. Can I? How? What? Oh, there we go. There's the rotation. Are we in a weird mode or something? There we go. There we go. Right. I've got hang of the map now. Hey, Jebulus. City Skylines 2 is next week. Oh, thank you, Egg. Yes, we've got a special live stream. Uh, what would normally be our Monday live stream is moved to the Tuesday, and we're going to do City Skylines 2. Thank you, Egg. Yes. I should probably do some sort of announcement about that, like a, like a little bit more of a pre-warning so people know that we're going to be doing that. Uh, what's this in my calendar? Oh, I've got a seminar thing on next Tuesday as well. I don't like this look of that. I'll move my stream. There we go. Um, right then, folks. Uh, we're going to do a giveaway. We like to do a giveaway when we do these live streams. Now, the monthly giveaways for Transport Fever 2 and a £10 Steam voucher are both live, so you can go and uh, enter them. But also, I just started a giveaway for Hack and Slash, and we'll pick the winner of that before the end of the live stream. Last time we got our first rail service up and going. Here, here's the train. There it is. Uh, it's got a name. Stitch and slow. JJ um, did that. Uh, you managed to get much use out of the steering wheel. I've uh, actually, my daughter's probably got more use of it out of it than me. Uh, but I am looking forward to using it more in the future. Jebulus is addicted factor to Factorio. It's, it is a fun game. It's a very fun game. The idea of today is we want to make as much money as possible. So let's just get a little bit familiar with what we've got going on. If we go back to the uh, this section over here, we've got uh, this uh, machines factory, which appears to be abandoned and is going to close. But we don't care about that because we're doing uh, the wheat from this farm. So we're picking up the wheat, taking it over to this food processing plant in Bingley. And then we're going back again. And also over here 
We've got this fuel route going backwards and forwards as well. So both of these two towns, Brandonville and Party Town, are both getting one of the two things that they need. And actually, they need each other's things as well. So once we've got more money in the bank account and stuff, we'll work on that. And then down here, somewhere, here we go. We've got our first railway line. This is our first passenger service. It's going from FedEx, uh, Fed next the sea, all the way over to Anvil Bay. So we've named all four of the towns. Now, what should we do next? We need to make money. What's going to make us some good money? Well, let's have a look at what is making us money so far. This is our line statistics. And if we order it by balance, you can see that the train is by far making the most amount of money. Um, it's got a relatively good frequency on there, I think, as well. And it's a chock -a block 48 out of 48. So I think a second railway line might be in order. Let's just check our bank balance. Okay, so we've got a 3 million loan. So we'd probably have to take out another good chunk of loan. Let's, un let's unpause the game. There we go. I think another railway line is probably a good thing. But maybe we should start looking at... Maybe we should do... Yeah, I think another passenger service, right? Another passenger service. Now, if I remember correctly, we looked over this quite substantially at what places were best for passengers. And, you know, Anvil Bay to Fed Next to Sea were the best options by far. So let's just have another look over here. So this, uh, this town's got a population of 191. 75, 58... 180, that one's quite good. Desborough, 119, not bad. 59, 142. That one's 100. I think, and I don't know if we can do this, so we'll, we'll, we'll investigate. But if we could get a railway line between these three towns, I think that'd be really good. Um, the only problem is is that we'd have to go down this uh, bit of land and make a land bridge here and then we've got an industry to get around and then goodness knows how we'd build across this we'd probably need to raise the land up a little bit and then put a bridge in over here so not sure Factorio is a drug it just keeps me coming back you know it's, it is good and there's a reason why we've done three seasons of it Jebby says you've been enjoying that season as well, and you started a playthrough of your own. Never seen this game before. Oh, yes. It, it, it's basically a modern open TTD. Very much. There's some differences, but yeah. So this is a good town if we can get a bridge over here and then connect up to maybe a through station in here somehow. I mean, there's an industry in the way. Oh, that's really difficult. Uh, what else have we got? What's this over here? It's a relatively good town, isn't it? I don't know. I suppose what we should probably do is look at something that can make these two towns that we've already got grow. That would be a good idea, wouldn't it? So if you have a look at the um, Fed next to sea, it requires two things to grow. It requires uh, tools and machines, I think that is. And if we come over to uh, Anvil Bay, that one requires uh, machines and food. So if we can manufacture machines around here, that'd actually be quite good. So, also we've got this, this town over here, Wick Wickwa. Wickwire that, um, that requires machines too. I'm not seeing like a machine factory or a machine shop anywhere around here though. Like I'm on max zoom and there's nothing. Oh, there's one here and it's about to close down. Um, oh dear. This, this is not looking good for these guys. What do we think, chat? 
any thoughts or recommend there's a machine shop here I mean it'd be ridiculously difficult to do by uh, by train but we could probably boat it in the only problem is we'd need the things that make it so we'd need the the planks and the steel and that's quite a long chain of things that we would need okay I'm gonna take a quick break um, let me know in the chat which way you think I should go with this. What what towns have you seen? What industries? What method uh, of transportation? Um, shout out in the chat. Um, we'll be back in just two minutes. Get you. No, 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 no. I need another potion. Potion of Minor Magicka. That's not enough. Potion or uh, Ultimate Magicka. Yes! Rapid fire you before you even get over here. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh! Hey, we can't survive. Uh, wow. That's right. Ooh. <laughs> Nothing survived. Look at it. The entire Look at that. Is gone. Look at that! Oh, that's a oh. right there. <laughs> right. So we're going to do a re relatively interesting landing. Uh, it's one where we're going a thousand meters per second and then we pull up. And the wings fall off. Well, I wasn't expecting the wings to fall off. Hmm, that is interesting. Well, at least we're over the space center, right? Master Hellish, this is a very special message to you. Not to me, to you, from Jack. And of course me. <laughs> Thank you for raising money for the World Cancer Research Fund <laughs> and planting trees. Give my love to Paul and Barry, the parrots, and I too love trains. Have a great day, mate, but remember, whatever day it is, there's still no slacky. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Have a great day, mate. Have a good one. Oh, that is amazing. Oh, you sorted that out, did you? Yeah, I did it this week. Oh, that's fantastic. That's great. Um, Never I... have I had anything like that before. But I'm going to switch. switch. Oh, that was a lovely surprise arranged by Jack and Mac, wasn't it? Okay. Uh, hey, Graham. Welcome to the stream. Uh, we've had two shout-outs for boats, so maybe, maybe we'll have a look at boats then. We haven't got any boats in this play yet, so... Oh, it's, it's just so difficult to decide. Because we haven't got a lot of money. Although, having said that, look at that. There's a lot of people Fantastic. here. Fantastic! Yeah. Oh! Train whistle. Well, I suppose we could do it. We could try a train whistle. Why not train whistle, eh? eh? Here we go. Yeah, give me give me points out of ten for that one, eh? Give me points out of ten for that. Okay, right. I don't want to have to ship all that stuff over here. I don't want to have to put down a massive amount of infrastructure, and we're going to need a massive amount of infrastructure for the machines, because machines require those two things. Those two things require creating. Then all the resources, raw resources, require moving towards it. That's, that's a big chain of stuff to do. So, I mean, we have done industry stuff uh, somewhere. Where, where did we do it? I've, I've got turned around now. Over here. But that was a small chain. Eight out of ten. Oh, my goodness. I thought that was a good one. I thought it was a good one. I think passenger service. And we can kind of link this up here. Should we go with that? really difficult pass let's do it we're going to go with the extremely difficult passenger service and i'm just wondering whether we should have an extra line or not but oh well we're going to go for it we're going to go for it so what we're going to do is we're going to bulldoze uh, we'll get we'll, we'll spend a lot of money to do this so we're going to need a good chunk 
We'll bulldoze these two roads here. That won't cost us too much. And then we can put our railway station in here. Uh, I can't remember what sort of station we was using. We're going to put a terminus in. Let's spin it round. Now, how many tracks is that? One track. We've just been doing one track stations. Well, I suppose we've got to save on the money, haven't we? Okay, let's do that here then. And that covers a good portion of the city. There we go. There's our one track station. We're going to have to upgrade that later. And we're going to have to try and get that one track station somewhere over here. I've just realised we can... Oh, I was going to try and bulldoze that bit of road, but it will get rid of those two houses. I wonder if I put down just the tiniest bit of road here. Will that then allow me to bulldoze the end of it? Yes, it will. Oh, I love that. Love that. Okay, and then we can get our train station. In here. Oh, fantastic. Oh, there are industries in the way, though, so we're going to have to have a bit of a bendy track. There we go. Now, I, I might actually re readjust this road and give them a, a half-decent street. So, first things first, upgrade. Can I remove that without... No, I, I've kind of penciled myself into a corner there. Okay, and then if we... Just connect that up here. There we go. Wrong station. Oh, yeah. Oh, nuts. Okay, I get a refund of 1,260 something. Hopefully, that's all my money. Yeah, I put cargo down. Passenger. Pa that's the one we want. I don't want it in between those two. Nice trick with the road. Yes, you can, so you can divide the roads up by adding junctions if you need to. So then we've got to somehow connect these two train stations up. I think if we do a wiggle round here, that's going to be best. So let's get the track. That is horrible. Tell you what we can do though, in the future we can just like build under the industry or something. Now, how are we gonna get across here? I think if we do a bridge here. Actually, let's go this way. Let's go this way. Is there any bits of road we can get rid of? Maybe if we do our little trick. Do like this. We can then bulldoze the ends of these bits off. There we go. Make them a bit shorter. Yeah, I think coming this way makes a lot more sense. So we're going to go between this point and this point. And then connect those two up. That slows us down a little bit, but it's not the end of the world. And then I think if we just sort the land out so that we can then go across a bridge here. So let's do the bridge. Let's go from... It is much better, isn't it? Let's, let's, let's do a little bit of land raising. Flatten to smooth terrain. Is it smooth? It's flattened, isn't it? That was 31 grand. Okay, let's have a look. Okay, hopefully that's gonna be okay. Hmm. I think we might need to make it arch up a bit.
There we go. Ooh, that's just one end. No, I don't want one end to go up. I want the middle to go up. I can't remember how we do that now. There we go. There we go, the middle's up. It's, I know, I know, Brent Anvil. It's a series which I really do love, but it's it's had to fit in a very tight schedule at the moment. Now, it looks like we can't get our boats under there, I don't think. I mean, it's yellow. Does that mean you can? Let's go up higher and see what happens. I mean, it's just yellow. Okay. How much is that going to cost? Wow, 700,000 for a single bridge. I mean, that's going to have to go in. And then we're going to have to connect that up to our train station. Okay. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's a nice bridge, but we're gonna we're gonna have to upgrade it when we have got more money. And then somehow we've got to connect that up with there. Oh, right. Let's make a mental note of this. So we follow that piece of track round. We come across this bay, past that sharp bit, and round in between those two rocks. Okay, land tool. Cross this bay. Let's make the brush size a bit bigger. Oh. No, I'm not sure I got all of that. Let's give it a try. Okay, looks like there's a bit here that's no good. Most of that looks all right. Yeah, this is an expensive bit. Okay, let's do that. Oh, what on earth? I don't even... There we go. That's, and that's a nice fast um, corner too, in the middle of the line. Oh, that's worked out a lot better than I thought it was going to, actually. So. It's got a nice, gentle sweep all the way through. New viewer plus subscriber. Fantastic. Wow. Wow, the audio on the stream widget's a bit loud, isn't it? My goodness. Uh, thank you very much for a uh, double, two months now subscription for, is that Yelaine's? Sorry if I got your name wrong, but thank you very much for your support. You ended up with a lot of boats and planes on this map. Oh, remember, you can actually play along in the same map. At the beginning of the first episode, uh, we show you how you can do that. Right then, uh, how much money have we got left? A million. We should probably get a train going backs and forwards, right? Let's put that train depot over in the middle here, I guess. No, no, let's let's start it here. Just there. I don't know why, but that's where it's going. Uh, rotating. There we go. doesn't matter if it it's particularly slow coming out now I did what happened then oh we went to vehicles manager ideally we want to clone that other train or at least look at what we've got because it's a good train here it is fantastic train eh? oh you started further forward in time okay so if we look at the trains, uh, vehicles, this vehicle, can, where's the vehicle information about its details? Doesn't actually tell me what all the different bits and bobs are. Brilliant, never mind, we'll figure it out. Where's our new railway line? Oh, here it is. So, new vehicles, we'll get this one, and some carriages. And we'll also get a bigger loan. So we're now six million in the hole. 
Um, so that one and as many carriages. Oh no, not that many carriages. Oh, we've got another engine still there. Right. We need some road vehicles too, do we? Anyway, that train's about one and a half million. That'll do. We need to set up a line for it. So we're going to go between the two stations that we've just done. There we go. I, I love that railway line. It's a very nice use of this land. We had to change very little to get it to go through there. And it's a nice big sweeping curve. So there we go. Uh, and set it on its way, I guess. So a set it to line one we do need to sort out that line though so um, it's well we need to name the towns actually before we do the line uh, before we name the line so we need to name one of these towns so I guess we'll spin the wheel on a viewer plus subscriber uh, just to remind everybody we have got a giveaway going for hack and slash at the moment so you head out to portal.masterhellish.net uh, you can take part in that or the monthly giveaways, which this month is Transport Fever 2. Yes, this very game and a, a £10 Steve voucher. That's two different giveaways. Uh, so let's go to the wheel. And we're going to spin the wheel on uh, viewer plus subscribers. Um, and we'll do it viewer plus subscribers who are in chat. And uh, name one of these towns after them. So... Spin live stream viewer plus subscribers. Here we go. How is the money making? Uh, medium. We spent a lot. <laughs> oh, Brandon. It was nearly Brandon. But it was jebulous. Actually, Brandon's already in this one, so it'd be it'd be discount. Uh, it would it would not be allowed. So jebulous. Congratulations. Your name's going in the game. And remember, folks, if you want to have a chance of having your name in the game and get a load of the other viewer plus uh, subscriber benefits, check it out. Go to masterhellish.net forward slash viewer plus. We don't do Twitch bits. We don't do super chats or any of the Patreon -y things. Uh, we just have your plus. It's a, a way to do it directly to support me and the content I make. Chigso Kid says, technically, I'm from the start. That is kind of true because uh, I believe your name is part of the seed, isn't it? Okay, uh, right. So we need, we're going to name one of these towns after Jebulus. So for now, we'll just put it in brackets. And if we can think of a really good jebulous -y name for this town, then I mean, it just could be Jeb Town, for, for all I know. Right, let's let this train come out. Is it coming out? Yep, it is. Nice. So what we might have to do in the future, we might have to change this station into, like... We might have to put a, a, a through station in over here and then connect it up. You see that this doesn't actually hook up with all of the town. We need kind of a... These industrial buildings? There's some residential buildings at the back we're not attached to. So here we go. Our second line. Jebville. We could, if you want Jebville, you can have Jebville. It is named after you, of course. It is. It's named after you. Uh, okay, there we go. Just double checking the station. It is the right sort of station. Yes, it is the right sort of station. And then once we've got the money, we will go from here to Fed Next the Sea somehow. And what I was thinking was is we use these this peninsula here to break through with a second railway line. And it might be like a set. Oh, okay. Let's do a little drawing here so that I can show you what I mean. Eh? Let's do that. Yep, that's good. So at the moment we've got a train station here, and we're going to be putting a train station in probably here. 
So what we'll do is we'll get a bit of road that comes out like that. And we'll connect the train station up to it. Uh, and then we'll have the track go off in this direction. Okay. But what we might have to do in the future is add a big new fat train station over here where the railway line comes through. And then we use like in-city transport services to connect up to that big train station. You can't be held responsible if the city med misbehaves. Jebulous city. Ooh, I like the play on the S for the city there, Tinman. Jebulous, what do you think of that? So for now, we haven't really got much money. We're going to have... Oh, look, here we go. Our train's making its first journey. Has it got anybody on board? No. No. Great. Are there any passengers waiting? Not at that end. There is one passenger at the other end. Great. Uh, this one definitely needs like a bus route put in it. So let's do that. How do we do it in the other towns? Did we just do it with a simple... Yeah, we did. Okay. So... Right outside the station there. We need to be able to cover all of this residential district and I don't think we can with just one station we can actually we can do it with just one that'll do then that will do let's get a road depot in wish we shoved that down here oh no there's going to be a building removed if I put that there oh it's a tiny one who cares about little buildings eh right there's only one passenger stagecoach at the moment oh I haven't done a line for it No, not add stations, new line. So we're just going to do a shuttle service between here. It's going to loop around. Now that's a long way for it to travel. So we're going to just nip in here. And just connect that street up. So it gives it a bit of a shortcut. Now if we look at the line manager, that's a much quicker and shorter loop. I like that. Um... And then if we go to the vehicles, is it vehicles? Here, this vehicles. And there's some, oh, there's the vehicle we're looking for. And we can assign it to this new line. So down here, out comes our new stagecoach. And it starts transporting people about. Train's making its first trip without a passenger. We, what we'll do is we'll wait for a passenger and uh, and uh, follow it along. Raph, as I said, man, love to watch your streams during the evenings. It's so calming, especially now since you have a test tomorrow at math. Tests. Should you make sure you get some good rest? Make sure you get some good rest and do a little bit of. Um, do a little bit of studying before you go to sleep. I've heard that if you, like, just cram a load of stuff into your brain and then go to bed, like, it helps. I don't know if that's true, but I think it worked with me. Right then. How much does the train station cover? Right, the whole of this side of town, almost. There's actually a little bit of town that it doesn't cover here. Let's get the back side of town in with a station. Uh, yep, that will work quite nicely. And then... There. Again, we need a road depot somewhere. Not right in the way. Not too far out, though. 
Eh, let's put it in over here. Oh, we ain't got enough money for it. Okay. One more bit of loan. Okay, one more bit of loan. So I'm not getting any more loan out this live stream now. What on earth is that? Oh, I'm sorry, something mysterious. Did I just interrupt whatever you were doing by building a massive great big road depot? Straight from class. Yeah, yeah, a refreshment, yes. Refreshment before the test and a refreshment as you go to sleep are usually both good ideas. Oh, I didn't do a line. Okay, new line between these two stations. Eh, that's okay, that's okay. Which depot was it? This one. There we go. Right, now I've just put one on to begin with, but we can easily uh, increase that. Now, have we got anybody on our new train yet? No. Is there anybody here waiting yet? No. Right, we also need to name this town. Jebulus says he likes Jebulus City. I think Jebu... Jebulo Jebotropolis is a bit of a mouthful and also Tropolis sounds a bit presumptuous that it's going to be so huge by the end of the let's play let's go with Jebulus City Jebulus City nice I like that right let's name this one after a viewer plus subscriber but this time we're going to spin the wheel uh, based on everybody in viewer plus not just the ones who are in chat and also, I'm going to end that giveaway sometime soon as well. So make sure you get involved with that. Right, let's spin for Viewer Plus. Who are we naming it after? There's all 65 Viewer Plus subscribers. Beanie Nixon. I don't think we've got Beanie Nixon in this series, so there you go, Beanie Nixon. You are in. Oh, I just got an email. I get emails all the time, it's fine. Uh, right, Beanie Nixon. Let's put Beanie Nixon in here. There. Yeah. Right. Oh, oh, we've got somebody waiting. It is two people waiting. Fantastic. And we've now got 16 people waiting for this train. Okay. So it seems like things are starting to work nicely for this new railway service. I don't think it's making as much money yet, but we'll see how it goes. Um, it's obviously costing us a good bit to set up this new line. It's cost us a quite a few Fantastic. millions. Fantastic. It is fine. Uh, yes, let's go with it. Chain, train whistle there, Jebulus, for sure, eh? There we go. Got to have a train whistle for the train coming into the station. And what we'll do is we'll follow the train on the new route that we've just made. And then um, we'll guess how much it's going to make. We'll do a little guessing game. I like our little guessing games. Okay. So you know what the distance is, you know roughly how far it is, because you've seen me build the railway line. There's the train coming to the station. It is leaving now. I mean the sign says Guildford. Why does the sign say Guildford? It shouldn't. Uh, we have 17 people on board. Okay, so the question for you chat now is... What's the income going to be when our train gets to its destination? What do you reckon, folks? Nickstown. Oh, Death Angel. I like that. Nickstown. Whenever you set up a passenger train service with a bus connection, you always get passengers waiting at the station very quickly. Yes, the bus connection definitely helps because 
you get people fleeing your city. It is people that I want to go on a little trip, maybe. Uh, above the line says 11k, Tom 15, Infernal Badger says 9, Chibulus says 8. I'm going to be a little bit more... I'm going to throw my... I'm going to throw my number down a little bit higher than that. I think I think it's going to be... 17. I was thinking it might be more, but then I just realised that um, the train's not full. So Chegzo Kid says 10. Death Angel's gone in with a 20, so that's that's the highest one we've had so far. It is. <laughs> one million. I must admit, though, this is a very nice railway line to go down. Very nice railway line to go down, indeed. We also need to start planning um, the next hellish weekend. It would be lovely if it involved a steam train journey, wouldn't it? We'll have to see about that. Timmons going with 15k as well, same as Tom. Tommy says uh, 13,521. It's very specific. Uh, we've probably gone well over halfway already. It's actually travelling quite quickly. It said it's top speed of 45 kilometres an hour, which is quite nice. Oh, Michael, I didn't, sorry, I didn't see your message there. Hope me and the family are doing well. It's been a good night so far. I'm actually ill. I'm not very well at the moment. Uh, but I'm getting better. Um, family are, have also been ill. Um, the, the, the track's disappeared. Oh, the track's back again. Um, so, yeah, it's been, it's been a tough week or so. Uh, but overall, we're doing we're doing well, thank you. The little one is going to be five months old tomorrow, I think. Um, so, yeah, it's it's been a long time since he was born, and it doesn't feel like it. It felt like it was born like last week. I haven't had a chance to soak it all in. Um, for those of you who weren't here here at the start of the live stream, uh, there's no open TTD this week, uh, but we do have a Factorio video lined up for uh, the weekend of course because Factorio is like recorded seven weeks in advance 7,000 weeks in advance okay let's find out how much money this train is going to make us on its income 67 grand you were all very very wrong all of you were terrible Uh, is the train affected in the station too, or is it, what? Is the train affected if the station is too small? I don't know actually, Rafa. I, I I would guess potentially. Wow, yeah, that is expensive. Well, it's a very it's a very prestige train line. I don't know how many passengers it's going back with. Let's find out. It's got thirteen passengers on board at the moment, and if we nip over and have a look at the other side. It's still seeing. Hang on a minute. What's going on here? The train station is still called Guildford. Oh, I see. Is that the same in our other towns? Yes. Okay, so the station name takes the name of what the town was. Wow. This train's leaving, and there's still 22 people on the, on the station platform waiting. I'm beginning to think maybe we should have two trains over here. Double up that railway line. Should we double up this railway line? I think so. In my defence, I've never seen this game before, so I was influenced by chat. <laughs> yes. I can I can understand that. Right, we're going to start upgrading this railway line because it's making some good money, and I think having a couple of trains on it might be a good idea. Just checking the line to see if we go very close to anything, and we, we don't. Okay, here we go. So we've got to get that. Oh. Right, let's delete this junction. Uh, 
We've got a new vehicle available. Oh, it's a steam. This is like a traction engine sort of vehicle. There we go. A little bit of a wonky line to get into the station there, but if we ever expand the station, we can improve that. That's not a problem. And then we'll just add this on... Oh, hang on a minute. Which way we're travelling? Yeah, that's fine, actually. There's going to be a lot of changes and upgrades as we go. There's a lot of people that don't know Transport Fever, and I would say, right, if you like Open TTD, enter the monthly giveaway. You might win this game. If you don't, go and buy it anyway. If you can, if you can afford to buy this game in your budget, do it. Uh, is my opinion. I think it's a good game. It's not a fan. It, it's, it, it may even be a fantastic game, but it's not a free game. Okay. Let's get some one-way signals on this, just to force the train on to a particular line. So we want our trains to drive on the left. So the signal coming into the station is there. That should do it for now, I reckon. So you can have one train going each way. Jebulus says Railroad Ty uh, Tycoon 2 was great. I mean, but this is a much more modern game. Yeah. Your daughter's nearly nine. Wow. Fantastic paid game. A fantastic not free game. There we go. The Party Town Machines factory has been founded. There we go. So, adding those two signals shouldn't break anything. We've got a lot of passengers here. There's 20 something odd passengers there was. Now, have we, we haven't got enough money for a new train just yet, which is fine. So when this train goes back and then forward again, hopefully we'll have enough money by then. We can add our second train here and start building our new railway line. Or I, I should say our extension to line our second railway line. Okay, let's have a look at the finances of this train. Hmm. Okay, income versus running costs is not looking that great yet. Uh, I have just noticed a problem, though, and that's because we didn't add any more coaches over here. So this is line three. We've only got one road vehicle, and there is 22 people waiting. Uh, let's clone that so that we have five? I think, how many have we got in the other towns? How many road vehicles have we got on that other line? Fed bus. Yeah, we've got five there as well. Let's get five. Oh, yeah, look, it's the same problem here, look. Nobody can get to the train station. They're all stuck in the centre of town. Okay. Clone that. Clone it again. There we go. There we go. We've got five now. Where's the building for this one? There they are. So this is going to make the train more profitable. You got it on sale? Yes. That's another thing as well. If this game's ever on sale, my recommendation goes up. It's like, yeah, if you can get it for a cheap price, then yeah, even more so. Okay. That was a problem. We should have done that ages ago. Where's my other train? Okay, we're doing okay. Uh, here we've got 39 people waiting for a train already, when only 48 people can get on that train. It might be that when we add the second train, it doesn't really make a massive amount of money. In which case, what we'll do is just switch that train to the other line, maybe? I don't know yet. But I'm hoping once we start moving all these... 50, look, 53 people. Right, did we... Oh, we did name this town. We had a good suggestion as well, didn't we? It was um, Nick's Town was the one that I liked. So unless Beanie Nixon's watching and wants a different one, Nick's Town it is. Okay. 
So this line can now be the net now be named. It's the Jebnix line. So let's go to the line manager. Line one. Rename. It's the Jeb Nix. Is that right? Yes, it's the Jeb Nix line. We're gonna to have to change the name when we um, extend the line, but that's fine. Line two is the Nix bus. Nix uh, bus. We're we using dashes. We're not using dashes. Okay, that's Nix. And line three is the Jeb bus route. Jeb bus. There we go. Fantastic. Now we know what's going on. Now I think we were using blues for all the bus routes. So let's see. Can we change the color? To one of the blues. There we go. I don't know if that's the right blue. And then the main train lines or the train lines are mostly going to be pink, I think. Magenta. There we go. There we are. They're all named and color coded now. Jebulus says £16 is a bargain for any decent game. Um, yeah, I think so. Right, this train is on its way back now. It's got 24 people on board, so that's doing better. Also, there's more people at this station now. Oh, the, no, there's still more people at the bus station. How many people is here? 49. Okay. We definitely need to get the next branch of this line. So, Oh, hang on a second. Ah, uh, yes. Okay. So when this train here, stitched and slow gets to the other end of the line that's when we're going to buy our new train so we need to stop meant spending money for a little while just stop spending money for a little while <sighs> how are we all doing then eh um yeah no open ttd this week sad i know eh um you may, you guys may have noticed that at the beginning of Open TTD Series Ten, we had both uh, videos and live streams. It's just not been possible um, with having a new little one in the family to be able to do the videos and the live streams on that one. It's on fit sale now, fifty percent off. Oh, Jebulous. that's a risk, isn't it? Do you enter the monthly giveaway or wait until the end of the month to see if the sale finishes or not? To see if you win the game for free or do you buy it at 50% off? I mean, to be fair though, if you accidentally win a game that you've already got, then you could give the code to a friend. You're not really supposed to apply to win something you already have though. I don't think it's in the rules, actually. I don't think it's in the rules. So in theory, you could you could just go for it. Um, <laughs> Tom Tom's offering to send me a gallon of honey to cure my ail ailments. Oh, I've had a couple of rough nights recently. I'll tell you guys that. But my wife has been amazing and just completely looking after the baby sometimes I help out but I haven't been able to recently and she's just been smashing it like a trooper um, she is so tired bless her but we'll get there we'll get there okay we've, we've ne do we want to name the other train do you want to give people an option for that uh, I think name a train should be an option in the hellish store so if we if, well, if moderator wants to throw that on we'll, we'll do that Right, so here we go. Uh, the train is just about to enter the station. There's only 48... Uh, there's, well, there's up to 48 people that can travel and only 33. I'm just going to pause it for a second because I think this distance here of the train going into the station is roughly the same sort of distance that this sort of train going into the station here would be. So we should, in theory, be able to clone this train. We actually haven't got enough money to clone it. 
But what I was thinking was, is we could edit the vehicle, and if we remove two carriages, so it still has four carriages, then we can use that money to then clone it, because we get money for removing the carriages, and then it's cheaper to buy. So... It'd be 1.2 million to buy, I think. Okay, so we're going to modify that. Then we're going to clone it. No, we're not. We're going to get more money. Then we're going to clone it. There we go. And then what we'll do is we'll add more carriages on if we need it. So let's have a look. Unpause the game. And here is our new train coming in. Graham says, Remember those rough nights with a newborn? Three kids here now, few glad those days are over for me. Yes, he, he sleeps in our bedroom, so even when I'm not the person who is currently waking up for feeds, um, when he cries and stuff, he still wakes me up. Luckily, I'm quite good at falling back to sleep after being woken up, as a general rule. Sometimes I'll get something stuck in my head and like I just I just I just can't get it out, you know? Like the idea for a video or something, for example. And I have to think about it more and more and more and work it all out and I yeah it it can do my head in. Anyway, we've got a train here now arriving, twenty-three people on the platform and we can carry thirty-two. And over at the other side, our other train is just leaving the station. So we'll see how that goes. Let's have a look at the line manager. There we go. So if we're just... Oh, look! Our other train service is now in profit, apparently. It's got a positive balance of uh, 60 grand. So we've just added these uh, this extra train. So we'll see if that balance adjusts much. Um, where is it? Here it is. Now this line's going to be much more expensive to upgrade because we'd have to um, like double up this bridge and that's going to be like about 500,000 isn't it? Yeah, four, 434 grand. It's a lot of money. Uh, we've got a lot of peaceful people at this station now, 45 which is good. And a lot of people over at Church Road Terminal. Okay. I think that line might be way oversaturated now. Let's have a look. Um, I can't remember what this rate is. The approximate annual throughput of the station. All right. Okay. Yeah. Condition of the vehicles is getting bad. That's not good. We need more money. We need We need more money. Um, but it looks like where are we? This is Nix, isn't it? The Nix bus service is making the most money out of all the bus services at the moment. So that's quite good. You could dub, uh, you could double just the land sections in the meantime, Jan. That's a good idea, actually. Um, yeah, and just have it so that the vehicles just. You know, share the bridge. Um, Chegso Kid says, Yeah, I get that. I'm working out how to get something to work. Uh, you, you wake up in the middle of the night uh, with a eureka moment and they have to grab a pen and paper or the iPad to make a note of it. Yes. Yes. I And normally, if I've got something written down in a list or a note, I don't worry about it. Like, because I know that it's somewhere that I can't forget it. Okay, so the train's just arriving. It is full, and it's making us £158,000. Fantastic. Okay. Um, what we got going on over here now? So the frequency of these railway journeys has just absolutely shot up for this, this line. It's now The frequency is now four minutes. Um, and it's not making as much money at the moment 
Ouch. Um, yeah. I mean, that kind of makes sense. We've increased the number of engines by two, but we haven't increased the amount of passengers moved by two. So, oh, I haven't said that though. The trains did just pay off and we got a nice big fat lump of money. Yeah. Uh, we also had the kids in the room with us at night. Trouble was that you, your first two were twins. So they set each other off. Oh, yeah. Graham, that 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 must be difficult. I, I know a family and they had one kid and they were like, oh, should we have a second? Yeah, let's have a second. Triplets. So they ended up with four kids when they were thinking about two. Right then, with the earnings that we've got coming in now, let's build the next section of railway line. So it's going to come out of this station and somewhere across here and into there. So I think we need to put the other station in and I was going to use this gap in the road here. I was going to utilise that. Because I think I can get it between these two buildings. Oh, come on. Yep, there we go. It's not worth the risk for number three. <laughs> oh, that is amusing. Okay, um, we're going to leave it like that for now. Maybe when we've got more money, we can connect it up a bit better. Or we'll just move the station, like I said previously. We'll get a uh, terminus passenger station. Let's just give it a slight angle there. Obviously, we're going to have to change the bus routes in the town. But there's the station. And we're going to have to go across this bit of land at some point. And somehow... I mean, I think what we'll do is we'll get rid of this road. I don't think the towns will complain about that. Right. What? Oh, I misclicked. I was like, why is that coming out? Right. So let's see. How much can we bend this by until we get, like, not 120? Oh, that's fine. That's going to be fine. Okay, let's give it a little bit more leeway. I'm not really sure what this road thinks it's doing here, but I don't care. As long as the track's nice and level. Which it appears to be. Okay, so we've somehow got to hook that up, cross here. Which way round past this industry? Okay, let's let's work this out. So here is our railway line, and here is our other railway line on the far side there. We can't go through this industry or the road it's directly connected to. For me, this very much seems like it should come over the top side. It just seems to arc that way nicely. We may have to put a little bit of land in here. And we can use this land. That would be a big bridge here though. That is a little bit too big. Maybe we can get it to come. If we can get it to go parallel to that road. And get it to a down about here. Hopefully that corner won't be too much. I think we're going to have to have the big bridge. I think we're going to have to have that big bridge. Let's, uh, let's get the track. Can we even get a piece of track along here? It's putting in a bit of bridge. 
which I kind of like that. That's kind of nice. And it doesn't cost that much money. Question is, how much bend do we want to have in the track? You know what? I think we can do that. I think we can do this. Okay, we're going to do it like that. So, we're going to go from here to there. From there to here. So, just a little bit of embankment there. And then somehow across here. Now, if the game does it, how does it... Oh my goodness, that's about... That's a lot of money. Although it looks about right. It looks like almost exactly where I wanted it to go. It's got a nice little curve in it. It does get a bit high here, though. Although it is coming up to the higher ground. Is it just going up and up and up? It is a little bit. This land is just a little bit higher. New cliff is beautiful. What, over here? It is a nice quiet beach, isn't it? You go the southern route, even at the expense of a sharp bend. Oh, this seems to be much shorter. I mean, we haven't got the money for it. Um, maybe this line shouldn't come up so much? It does seem to be going up, up, up and up. Although this piece of land is quite high. Okay. What we're going to do, we're going to redo this bit here. Uh, half that bridge. So we're going to do it. We're going to redo exactly what we just done. But instead of it just going up and up and up. We're going to notch it down. Just a little tiny funnel there. Funnel? Furrow. Just to keep the track height pretty even. Okay, it doesn't cost that much difference. Different? Different. But then when we put this in, that's cheaper. And the bridge bits here are not quite as huge. In fact, we're going to be able to afford this soon. Oh no, hang on, there's a collision. What's the collision? I don't get it. Where's the collision? Alex, welcome. Welcome, everybody. Uh, okay, let's try... Oh, is it just not humpy enough? Yes. Like it needs to arch up more in the middle. That's nice. Yeah. How much is that? 300 and something odd thousand. What have I been up today? I've been working all day. I, I got up in the morning, got my daughter ready for school. Um, I took her to school, did the school run, came home, and I've been working all day. And now we're now we're playing some transport fever before I go to bed. So that's a nice little railway line. I think it means we can extend this railway line that we've already got going. Um. I would like to get another train on there, but it's going to cost us a lot of money. And we'd have to upgrade the line with some passing places. Do I work from home? Yes. Yes, I do work from home. I do sometimes have to travel from uh, for work, but it is very infrequent. It is very infrequent. Right, how we're looking over here. We've got quite a few passengers at the station. 36, nice. And there's not that many waiting at the bus stops. In fact, there's none waiting at the bus stops, which is good. That means we're satisfying the needs. 
over here, uh, we got a little amount of people waiting at the bus stop. So that tells me we maybe should look at getting another road vehicle or two on there. Let's get one more road vehicle. There we go. It's true. There's not a lot of reason for software devs to uh, not work from home. Um, software devs notoriously good at using technology for communication and collaboration because we know how to. Yeah, I'm happy with this railway line. The fact that we brought it down here, made this slight cut, and allowed this little bridge to come in. I can't wait to see a train go across there. That's going to be good. That's going to be good. And what we got over here with loads of passengers? Oh, it's the train station, and the train's about to arrive. So this is our. Uh, this is one of our trains here. It says train one, but we rename one of them. We can carry forty people, and there's forty-one people in there. That's fantastic. Uh, here we go. You can have a remote work days after you finish your training. Yeah, I mean, I I've done it all. I've I've worked somewhere where it was office only. I've worked somewhere where it was home only, and I've worked somewhere where it's been both, a bit of both. Um, and if you've got the right job and the right mindset, and you're the right type of person. Working from home is is better. Like I get so much more done being at home. Um, being able to real just dial in and focus without any sort of distractions around is brilliant. And also, I don't have travel time to and from the office, so that's a massive value for me and the family. Okay, so today was about making the money. Have we got more money coming into the bank account? Let's have a look. So the finances, is, this is income versus expense. So if we ignore the expenditures, okay, ignore the expenditures, and we just look at the income. Now, I can't remember what year it was when we started uh, the live stream. I'm guessing it was, oh, actually, Come to think of it, this is probably when we built our railway line. And this is when we probably built the other railway line. And uh, these might be when we did the extension just now. I'm not sure. So you can see since we built the first railway line, our income has been steadily increasing nicely. And when we built the second railway line, uh, yeah, it looks like we're in a much higher gradient now. And that's like a railway line is taking a little while to actually take off. So there we go. I love how zoomed it in where it's needed. I know, it's brilliant, isn't it, eh? Suntar's congratulations. Uh, not congratulations, hello. <laughs> oh dear. This game needs a multiplayer mod. It does, it does. I'm 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 a little tired. I'm um I apologies. That um, zooming feature is actually uh, something from um, the Windows tools. Uh, I can't remember it off the top of my head, uh, but it is it's um, something I've just integrated in with my touch portal. So this this is my touch portal here. It's just uh, an old tablet with an app on it, and I've got a draw button. And if I want to go into draw mode, I press the button. It goes into draw mode, and then I can like zoom, select, draw. And when I'm ready to go back to any other mode, I just press the button for that other mode and the draw zoominess goes away. Isn't it great? Um, and it does mess up a little bit sometimes because it's a toggle thing. That, so the draw mode toggles it on and all the other bu uh, buttons does the same hotkey, which then toggles it off. So if I... If I accidentally press the toggle on my keyboard, I can actually end up with it in verse. So I end up drawing on when I don't want to and, and not drawing in any way. Yeah. You have a serious setup there, two cams. Uh, I'll tell you something. All right, we've got cam one, and then we got cam one zoomed, cam two, which, which you've just seen, 
We've actually got Cam 3 as well. Pedro, welcome. Cam 3 is a test camera. Okay, and uh, we're still working on getting it fully, fully up and operational. Let me see if I can get it going. Yeah, that's um, kind of like a first version of Cam 3. We've got a better version of Cam 3 in, in progress, so it'd be Cam 3.1. It's good fun, isn't it? It's great for when... Like, I, the good thing is because it works on the Wi-Fi, we've got a mesh Wi-Fi network, in theory I could go down the shed. Yeah, it is really quiet. I, I was deliberately being quiet. Um, it, need, it needs a mic connecting up to it and all that sort of stuff, and I've got the equipment to do... You know what? I can actually show you... The bits from the new Cam 3. Vertical monitors? No, 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 no. It's their three virtual monitors. Look. Look. One, two, three. So instead of having loads and loads of screens, one big screen, 4K 60 Hertz divided up into three. It's perfect. Don't use it as a virtual uh, as a vertical monitor. Use it as three small monitors. It's brilliant. Wi-Fi mesh is OP, but um, hella expensive. Not doesn't have to be expensive. Doesn't have to be expensive. There's a lot of options out there. Like if you just go straight in for the big brands, then maybe yes. But there are a lot of options, and you can get some good good networks for good prices. Okay, I'll forgive that. There you go. I mean, if you want to use it as a big vertical one, you also can, but I don't. And of course, I've got the same on the other side, so it's kind of like having seven monitors. Seven. What was we doing? I can't remember now. We're looking after our existing network, trying to get as much money out of it as possible. Is that just three windows stripped? Uh... Yeah, I use... Oh, okay. So in Windows 11, you can do it without third-party add-ons. But I use uh, Windows Power Toys for Windows 10. So in Windows 10, I use Windows Power Toys to divide my screen up. In fact, I can show you on Cam 2. So if I grab the chat window and move it around, uh, if I hold Shift... You can see that I get a window selection and I can choose where I want that to snap to. Now in Windows 11 you don't need that because there's a feature baked in which is very similar. OP, OP web devs have at least one vertical screen. I don't. I don't. I, 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 then I'm, I'm not a web dev. I'm software dev so... That's the built-in versions aren't very customizable. What? Um, I, I don't find I need the Windows 11 ones to be customizable because you just have to do two motions. Like you drag to the side and then you just lift up a little bit and it realizes exactly what you need. So I don't know. Yes. No. Use, um, go, go get, um, is it Windows Power Toys or Microsoft Power Toys? It's a Microsoft add-on. Right, two, tr two trains are about to cross each other, so let's try and get the midpoint. There we go. Are we going to get it perfectly here? Sounds like it. Oh, no. Hey, I cheated. There we go. Nice. Okay, uh, money coming in good from those lines. Yeah, so the Fed Anvil line is not making double the Jebnix line, but I wouldn't expect it to. We need more passengers. Oh, you want very specific widths? Yes. Then Windows Power Toys is is the yeah.
Yeah. Hopefully the job IT department allows you to add it to your work laptop. I mean, obviously get permis uh, permission, um, Alex, but because it's a proper Microsoft extension-y thing, I think they should allow it. I can't think of any reason why they wouldn't. Good night, Jebulus. Thank you for coming to the stream. Good to see you. Yeah, I mean, maybe I should do a video about like my setup and stuff and the different things that I use. Like, for example, that touch portal, like this. I think it was £12 for the software and it's so invaluable. Like, I don't need a Stream Deck and this is like as configurable or possibly better, I don't know. I've never used a Stream Deck, but I don't need one because I've got this and it cost me £12. Like, th that was a no-brainer to me. And th there's a free version, too. So you can try it for free and go, yeah, this is going to be good. And then just pay and get all, like, more buttons and stuff. All right, what was I doing? We pay for that building, don't we? That train depot. We do need the train depot, though. Oh, good. Right, okay. So we haven't got passengers waiting here for um, bus services. There's a few people waiting there. It's not that bad. 63 people waiting on the railway line, though. I do think if we're going to have a train go all the way up and down this line, we are going to have to double up the middle. So we do have some money. Let's let's upgrade. So the first thing we're going to do is configure this train station. We're going to add some more tracking. And then we're going to do passenger platforms on the other side. There we go. I don't... Oh, hang on. We need passenger underpass. Here and here. Should we give them a roof? How much is that? It's not saying... I don't think it says how much that is. I don't know. Um, oh, hang on. We've got a question here. Is Transfer Fever 2 like Open TTD but 3D? Yeah, Brandon's right. Kind of, but different. Like, in what ways? Like... Like, obviously, the graphics are better. Um, you need a full industry chain in order for the industry to, to produce. So you can't just go from iron ore mine to the smeltery place. It then has to the steel mill. It then has to go to the next place and then to its final destination before that whole line will start producing. Um... If you don't add an underpass, it'll teleport people to the platform anyway. Well, that's a bit weird. Oh well. Let's carry on building out this railway line. So the middle section of this line, we will double up. It's not going to cost us a stupid amount of money. And I wonder if I can get across here without causing too much. I can. We're not going to pay for two bridges right now. I will pay for this little bit of land here, though. I think that was about five grand. It went it went a bit quick for me to actually see. There we go. Uh, I think maybe we should actually make that a little bit longer. Yeah, I think that's going to work. So then the whole, like, this third of the line on this side is one is one track. And then the whole third on this side will be one track as well. The only problem is, I don't think we're going to get a second line pass here. We, we can try it. Oh, we can. Oh, right. Okay. 
So in that case, we'll bring that back to there and connect up this line. Perfect. Nice. So just it's just the last third at either end. Yes, early game, double bridges. I mean, we could save up, but we don't need them yet. Yeah, we don't want it. We don't want a massive investment at the moment. How long are you going to keep streaming? You're going to go for a while for a while. Oh, sorry, Alex. Um, we're actually going to be finishing off pretty soon. Um, it's a shorter stream tonight. I'm, I'm, uh, like I said before, not a hundred percent at the moment, but uh, we'll hopefully get some extra transport fever streams in soon. So maybe next week. I'll have a quick look because I've got it over here somewhere. Where's it gone? Where has it gone? I've lost my main screen for the thing is. That's not it, that's not it, that's not it. There it is. Okay, my planner. So next week we've got City Skylines 2 Tuesday night. And then we've got uh, Open TTD Thursday night. So that week there might be a Wednesday Transport Fever 2 stream at lunch UK time in the middle of the day for an hour does that create a janky cliff between the industry road and the track we'll have a look we'll have a look Ugh! look at that that is janky can we can we fix that bit of smoothing Ugh. I'll tell you what we'll just look at it from like this angle and you can't tell And we'll, we'll fix it. We'll fix that at some point. Oh, wow. There's some interesting little bugs showing up here at the moment, isn't it? Imagine having Move It in Transport Fever 2. You know what? I, I don't feel the need to have Move It. Like in City Skylines, I needed the Move It one to just like make things just look a little bit better. Don't feel the need. Oh, there we go. Oh, we ran out of money. Ah, there we are. Well, I'll smooth that off later. Right, so now this railway line's done to the point where if we want to get a second train on it, we can. Although we... Oh, we do need signals. Okay. So we'll need a signal here. And we'll need signals here. And... I suppose we could break the line in half. Like that. Now, at the minute, I think this train just teleports itself facing the other way, so there we go. Yeah, I mean the way that the terrain works and the way that the land snaps and shapes, it, it is, it does seem to be better than City Skylines one. And we've got a little bit of money now, so maybe I can I can soften this land over here. So there you go, look. It's a very quick soften tool, and yeah, th this bit's a bit broken because we're right next to that piece of road. So maybe we could bend the track out a little bit, but this bit still looks nice. Right then, folks, we're not going to get a train going down that section of the line just yet, because to have the trains going all the full distance, um, we, could, we would need more than one train on that line. I would say three or four. We can't afford that at the moment. Also, this line over here has been a bit quiet. I'm not 100% sure two trains on that line was a good idea. Although, having said that, the trains are relatively full. So maybe it was a good idea. Hmm. Okay, yes. So there we go, folks. We've made a few little upgrades. Um, we've expanded things out. And I, I can prove to you that we did actually meet our objective today. Look. 
So um, we were getting money in at this rate. And now we're getting money in at roughly that rate. And if you know anything about graphs and rates of change, then you probably know them more than me. But you can tell that that angle is not as steep as that angle. So we've had a positive effect on the income. Of course, I am ignoring the outgoings because we've been spending a lot of money. And I don't know if we can have a look at operating balance. Uh, oh, bank balance value. Well, value's tanked, doesn't it? Tracks, towns. Um, oh, yes. Yes, so here you can see the operating profit of the road railroad um, separate to the investments over the last four years. So there we go. Uh, upwards curve on the income. Yes, it was good. It was good. I don't know these maths in English terms. I don't know anything in English terms, to be honest. Uh, but you can see here, right? We just have a look at the, the monies here. Uh, the, you ignore the current year because that's, um, that's a, a work in progress. Um, but like, if we're looking at the railroad... 175,000 and then 411 and then 543. I mean, it's going up. And that's what we wanted. We wanted the money to go up and we've done it. So there we go. And that's going to be all for now, folks. Uh, the last thing to do is to announce the, the giveaway winner. Fantastic. Chegzogid, congratulations. You won Hack and Slash. Remember, everybody, we've still got the monthly giveaways going, uh, one of which is Transport Fever 2 and the £10 D voucher as well. Um, and then, uh, because there's no open TTD, I will see you on the live streams next week. Thank you very much, everybody. It's been great hanging out tonight. Uh, remember, uh, if you know somebody who thinks might like this sort of uh, live stream, then point them my way. Let's, let's let more people enjoy the content. Uh, and I'll see you soon. Bye, everyone.